Hi, I'm Olivia, and here's a quick Canva tip. Today we are talking about transparency. You need a transparent logo. I hope you have one, but we're going to talk about transparent logos, saving transparent files, uh, and a little bit about the opacity uh, selector. So first, I just be I don't I bear with me. I know you want to get to the tutorial, but you need to functionally understand the file types or we're going to get into this all over again. So first of all, file types are not all <laughs> made the same. JPEGs cannot be transparent. They are raster, which means that they are pixel based uh, and they are um, condensed quality. What's, what's the way to say that? They can be um, small, small in file size. So JPEGs are great for photos on your website. They're amazing for um, getting things really small, but they can't be transparent. So a lot of times if you're working with a logo or a file and you're like, why is there a white background? I don't understand. It's because it's a JPEG, right? Now, PNGs can be transparent. That doesn't mean they always are, but they can have empty pixels um, on the screen. They are also raster and pixel, and they're a little bit larger sometimes uh, in file size because they do hold transparency, so it's a little bit larger of a file. Now, an SVG or an EPS, these are our vector, vector babies. They're my favorite, I love them. Um, an EPS is going to be more of like a print file. And now SVG is what Canva loves. So Canva loves, Canva loves SVG. So I've talked about this before, but if you upload your logos as SVGs in Canva, which is a scalable vector graphic up here, you can change the color of them. This needs to be done in the design program first, but it is awesome and very worth it. So definitely go back to your designer or your cousin's friend or your fiber person and ask for either a PNG so that your logo is transparent or best case is an SVG that has outlined fonts and outlined strokes that you can upload it. But let's say you don't have any of that. Let's say you have something like this. You have an old logo, right? I hope it's old. I hope it's not something that was done recently because recent designers should know to save as a PNG, to save as an SVG. I would never give a JPEG to a client at all in a logo file. But let's say you've got this. You don't want it to have a white background. Let's make this logo transparent. Easiest way to do it is to come over here to edit photo and you probably guessed it, use the background remover. We're going to wait and noodle through this. Now, a little special thing that just happened here. Did you notice how it actually removed the white out of my text as well? Yowza, we don't want that. So I'm gonna click the background remover again, and this time I'm gonna click restore. And actually you can see in here, I don't want my text to also be transparent, right? So I'm actually gonna click restore, and I'm gonna restore um, th this piece right here. So don't forget that the background remover tool does have a lot of flexibility and editing capability um, within it as well. Here we go. And just like that, we're good to go. Now, Olivia, I really want to download this as a file. I don't want it like on this giant board here. And then if I um, stretch it like this and there's all this white space, like how do you, how do we get all the white space gone? First, we make me smaller. Uh, and then we're going to drag the bounds of this to be pretty close to our logo, right? We don't want a lot of white space. We want a little bit. We don't want a lot of white space and white space doesn't mean white it means just a lot of space so once you kind of get this to be close to what you're wanting it we're going to come to position up here at the top and we're going to note what our width and height are right so this is 1855 and i'm going to do by 420 so 1855 by 420 that's going to give me the file that i need so i'm going to go to file create new design, <laughs> custom size, and then I said 1855, whoa, 1855 by 420 pixels, and I'm going to create a new design. Then I'm going to copy this and place it here. Great. And now if you kind of click in the background, I know this is transparent. I hope you use it responsibly. Um, and I'm going to download this as a transparent file. 
the way you do this is you come up to the share. Canva, please change that. It's not sharing, we're downloading. And you're going to click download. Now here's the biggie right here. Do you see it? Boop, 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 boop. Transparent background. Now, if I change this to JPEG, notice how transparent background is gone. <laughs> That's because JPEGs can't be transparent, but they do have better quality settings that you can make the file a smaller file. So we want, and yeah, Canva's telling you best for sharing, best for complex images, all of this good stuff, best for web design animations, great. We want a PNG, select transparent background. I would not compress this file because it's your logo file, right? Then we're gonna click download. Now remember kids at home, when you do this, this is one of my most common questions. Uh, when you click download, this is now shaking hands to your computer. Canva is no longer in charge of this file. So I'm gonna call this transparent logo, right? Now it's on your computer. Canva doesn't know where you saved it. So just make sure you're noting and keeping track of some really clean and clear folders. Um, so now if I come back over here, um, I can place a new file. I can come over here to, well, let's move this, uh, uploads and then upload a file. That is not it. Desktop, uh, logo sample. What did I call that? Where did I save that? See, this is, I don't remember where I saved that and I found it. All right. Now it's uploading. And then if I place this now, it is a transparent logo. Hooray, 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 hooray. Now you're probably thinking, Olivia, I still don't really, this is like, I want it to be white. Now, this is a tricky case because I have another really popular video where I come in here and I click edit video and I come down to uh, duo tone. And then we make this uh, all the way white and then all the way white. Now, of course, the problem here is that because this isn't transparent, <laughs> um, that this piece disappears. So. This isn't ordinarily how I would help users make their logo white or make it black. Um, but in this case, it wouldn't work out. So I would reach out to your designer. But that is how you make a transparent file. Saving things as transparent is as easy as selecting the transparent tool in um, Canva. So again, share, download, PNG, transparent background. That's how we get a lot of stuff like like this with all of these collage aspects of it where you can see that these things are transparent. All of that is done by using a PNG. These items are PNGs. These are all PNGs and I made them in Canva. Using a fanned out page spread is probably one of the most popular ways that I do um, do that. So if I come over here to uh, Pocket SEO, which is now live on my website, I need these pages and I don't want the blue background. I just want them to be transparent so that I can layer things over. Again, even with the blue background, you don't have to make it white. You can click share, download, check transparent background. You're also going to notice that this does require Canva Pro, unfortunately. Um, well, not unfortunately. I think Canva Pro is worth every single penny. Um, and then you click download, then we wait. And then I'm going to uh, grab that file this time remembering where I put it, I'm going to drag it over to Canva. Really, you should put this in a folder. And now you can see this is a transparent file that I can now use and go collage other places um, or on my uh, website, I can upload uh, just this. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that really quickly as well. Um, on Squarespace, you'll click edit. Then we're gonna scroll down because I need to add this to my site anyway. Where is a good spot to put it? Uh, probably, I would say in between these two sections. I'm gonna add a blank section. I'm going to add an image. I'm going to wait, it's frozen. Come on, upload file. And then this pocket SEO transparent that I've just created is now a transparent file which means if I come over here to edit section and colors, no matter what color I change this, this is now transparent so that I can layer things on top of it, which is really handy. So that's how you create transparent items in a transparent logo in Canva. This is the best way you can really do it within Canva itself. Um, this will allow you, but really and truly the best way <laughs> is actually to reach out to your designer because in this case, because of the transparency with the letters,
it would be very challenging to um, g give the proper logo files. That's why branding really should be done by a branding professional or somebody that is going to give you your logo file as a PNG, preferably an SVG or a print format a white logo, a black logo, and of course, other logo formats. So go back out to your designers or hey, reach out to my website if you need a brand designer um, to get those logo files. Or I hope this little quick Canva tip helps you get that transparent logo. Thanks so much.